Okay, welcome to lesson 3.7 on fractions, our next step up in difficulty. So far you've divided um, a fraction, a simple fraction, by whole numbers and whole numbers by simple fractions. And in our last, last lesson on 3.6, we did a fraction by a fraction. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the next step, which is introducing mixed numbers, which is a fraction, with, or a whole number with a fraction. So if you remember back to our different types of fractions, you should remember that a mixed fraction is something which contains a whole number and another fraction. So this is mixed, sometimes called mixed fractions or mixed numbers. A simple fraction, which is correct, would be like 4 fifths. This is just a basic simple fraction. And of course, the improper fraction is something like 9 fourths, where the numerator is larger than the denominator, and this is called improper. Now, just like when we did multiplying fractions, the simple rule is this. You cannot divide fractions in mixed form. It's not allowed. Everything has to either be in basic form or it has to be improper. So, let's go back over how to take go from a mixed to an improper form. Take a look up here. I've given you the short instructions that you should know. You take the denominator. You multiply it by the whole number. So here's your denominator. You multiply it by the whole number, and you add the numerator. Everything always goes up like this, and it's multiply and plus. So we take 5 times 3 plus 4 all over. We're working in fifths, so that does not change. So 5 times 3 being 15, and 15 and 4 is 19, so you get 19 over 5. You're going to have to be able to do that. And, of course, this is the skill we've been working on since grade 6. Well, how to go backwards? Well, you don't have to change mixed, sorry, an improper fraction like this back into mixed because uh, it's not required in cases of order of operation where we go next. It's actually kind of convenient to leave it this format. But when you have to do it, you're going to take the 15 and you're going to divide it by the 4. And if you remember that this is nothing more than a big divide question. Fractions are divide questions you haven't done yet. So 15 divided by 4. Okay, so how many times does 4 go into 15? It goes in 3 times, and that gives you 4 times 3, which is 12. And of course, when you subtract it, you get 3. So it goes in 3 whole times, that's why that's called the whole number. And of course, you have a part number down here, that's your numerator, and we're working in fourths, so that doesn't change. So 15 over 4 in its mixed fraction form is 3 and 3 quarters. Some people like to think of it this way. How many times? Does 4 go into 15, and what's left over? In your head, you should be able to say, well, 4 goes into 15 three times, that's 12. And of course, 15 take away 12 is 3, so it's 3 and 3 quarters. If you're not able to do that in your head, then write it down. All right, if I ask you in a test, um, you're going to have two options here. Somewhere during your tests, on your, you're going to be asked to do this manually without your calculator. I'm going to say, what is 15 over 4 in mixed form? Show me all your work. And that is what I'm going to expect right here. Some methodology which shows me that you know exactly how to do it. I'm also going to ask you how to take a mixed fraction and put it into improper. Those will be measured separately from dividing and multiplying questions. So when we're doing our dividing and multiplying questions, I'm not going to expect you to show me this work. I'm going to expect this to become this without any work being shown. You just got to be able to do it. Let's take a look at the next question. So, one of the constant things that we have been we have used in dividing is that we've been doing. Sorry, let me read this again here. One of the constant things that we have used in the dividing we have been doing is that we have used fractions that are in basic forms. The same process will work with fractions which are improper. So, before you can divide fractions, you must make sure that they're in improper form or basic form. So, mixed form is not allowed. So, for example, you have, see I have two and a third here. That's got to be changed into an improper form. So 3 times 2 plus 1 all over 3 means that 3 and 2 thirds is 7 thirds. 1 and a quarter is 4 times 1 plus 1 all over 4. So that's 5 and a quarter. So you're going to have to do these two conversions. I'm not going to expect to see this work. This can take place in your head or on your calculator. Now that we have things into mixed form, in, sorry, mixed form into improper, now you're just going to follow the same procedure we did before. You're going to flip and multiply. The first fraction, 7 over 3, remains the same. You're going to multiply by 4 over 5. So 7 times 4 
over 3 times 5. 7 times 4 is 28. 3 times 5 is 15. And in this case, it does not reduce. However, if you want to put down 1 and 13 15 as a mixed fraction, you can do that too. How am I going to mark this? Well, I'm going to be marking your first conversion to improper, your second conversion to improper. So I'm going to know now that you know how to do these conversions. Secondly, I'm going to be asking you to prove to me that you know to multiply, you have to make the second number a reciprocal. And now we have multiplying fractions. Do you know how to multiply fractions? Numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. If you know that, great. Now, can you execute that? I get the answer. And of course, if this is a word problem, I'd expect a sentence. Or if it had to be reduced, you'd have one more mark here. But this particular question, I would expect you to copy the question down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six marks for this question. Now, if you had to reduce, it would be seven. And if you had a question in a word problem, we would actually go up to eight. Okay, so I've shown you how to do the first one. I want you to pause the recording and try the second one. All right, let's take a look. So, 4 and 5, 6. 6 times 4 is 24. And 5 gives me 29, so this is 29 sixths. 8 times 1 is 8. And 8 plus 1 gives me 9, so this is 9 over 8. So now... The first number stays the same, 29 over 6. We're going to multiply by 8 over 9. So to do this, top times top, 29 times 8 over 6 times 9. And if you get your trusted calculator out, you'll find that 29 times 4 is 106. Sorry, that's the wrong question here. 29 times 8. Reduce my so nine times eight is seventy-two. Carry the seven. Eight times two is sixteen, and then seven is twenty-three. So we have two hundred thirty-two. And of course, six times nine is fifty-four. Of course, you can use your calculator to ABC it, and you'd get one hundred sixteen over twenty-seven. If you want to put that into mixed form, you can do that too, and you get four and eight over twenty-seven. Okay, so how we're going to mark this, put the question down, your two mixed improper, flip it, multiply it, get it, reduce it. I'm not going to give you a mark for the 4 and 8 27s. It's up to you. In fact, it's almost better for you to leave it as 116 over 27. So this question would be worth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 marks. And again, if it was a word problem, you'd have a sentence there, it would be worth eight. Okay, turn the page. Okay, a word problem. What is the quotient four and three quarters divided by two and five six? So, again, being that it's a word problem, you'd have to put down uh, four and three quarters divided by two and five six. Remember, in a sentence like this, it's the order that it comes in that you divide. So the four and three quarters is first, and here is your dividend, and your two and five six is your divisor. So this is what you get. So pause the recording. I'd like you to do this question. Okay. So our first question we have to do is we have to take and do four and three quarters. Four times four is 16, and three is 19. So this becomes 19 over four. Divided by 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17 over 6. So what ends up happening here is we take a second one, our second fraction, and flip it. First one stays the same. So we have 19 over 4 times 6 over 7. So that's 19 times 6 over 4 times 7. Teen, sorry, I guess it is. So 19 times 6 gives us 114. And 4 times 17 is equal to 68. And of course, 114 over 68 reduces, and that will give us 57 over 34. Now, because this is a word process, that's right, word problem, you write down the quotient is 57 over 34. Now, try the second one 5 and 3 sevenths. 
divided by one and a half. Okay, we should be done by now. Let's take a look. We've got seven, five and three sevens, so five times seven is 35, and three is 38 over seven. Divided by one and a half is three over two. So we have 38 over seven times two thirds. The second one is the only one that becomes a reciprocal. The first one remains the same. And now 38 times two, seven times three, and 38 times two is 76. And 7 times 3 is 21. And 76 and 21 reduces, to, sorry, it does not reduce, it stays the way it is. So there's your final answer. Oops, sorry. Missed this one here. There you go. Your, two, your question, your two mixed improper's, your reciprocal, your multiply, and your answer. And there's no words here, so it's not a word problem. So this question is worth one, two, three, four, five, six marks. If you have any questions, go back over the lesson again and again until you can do it with confidence. Come and talk to me if you still don't understand, and we'll see you in the next lesson.